How is everybody doing? Welcome to how to see or how to actually see improvement while trading. Right, psychological improvement. Honestly, my favorite part of trading so far. It's been able to help me grow, you know, as a person, as a human, right? You know, as a trader and, you know, just overall just, you know, help better myself in every way possible. Your approach to mental chart and real life improvements demonstrates your strong commitment to becoming a successful tr trader. Everything I show today, right, you don't have to do everything, but at least take one of these educational tips and just try to apply it to your routine or, you know, if it's something like, you know, you see peer learning, just try to, you know, apply stuff like that. Even one, two, or three of these things, right, small little things like this a day inside of your routine can help you beyond a point, right, just to where you're going to keep improving each day to where you can't fail. Going over mental improvement, right, we have mindfulness and emotional regu regulation. Practice mindfulness techniques such as meditation or breathing exercises to maintain emotional stability. Journaling, journaling is one of my favorite things to do, right? Going over a trade, seeing if you did something wrong, did something right, where you were able to capitalize on the day, right? If you didn't capitalize on the day, where'd you go wrong and where can you improve? Right, and be able to position yourself next time to make, you know, an educational right decision. Education and reflection. Regular review trading psychology resources. Wait, excuse me. Regularly review trading psychology resources and reflect on past trades to identify emotional patterns that affected your trading. If you always, you know, if you feel a type of way also during a trade, Always write that down. Look back on it and see how you felt in the moment during that trade. A big thing that I like to do is watch these lectures on trading psychology. I know you see like the Mark Douglas or um, I just can't think of the names off the top of my head. But right, those long lectures, um, you know, and not all of them have to be long. Like even, you know, like the ICT Twitter speed, uh, you know, Twitter rants or anything like that. You know, a lot of the ICT stuff is really good. Where he just goes, you know, almost just full, you know, demon mode and just fucking just, aha, I just starts laughing and going crazy and shit. Um, you know, they're funny, but, you know, he's he's being for real. Like, you know, you can almost, if you get good at this shit, you can almost take over the world, you know, like there's no real limit, you know, to how, how high you can keep going. For chart improvement, do a routine analysis, develop a consistent pre market and post market analysis. Um, routine to, to keep your skills sharp, to stay prepared, and to be able to keep improving each day one after another. Simulations and back testing and forward testing. If you're not forward testing, you're not doing anything. If you're not coming on the days that are low probability or even high probability and just watching and chart reading, what are you doing? Right, back testing's cool and all, but you know, going through an hour, two, three, four hours of price action in five minutes or however you guys like to back test. You know, you have to back test with, you know, the same amount of, you know, urgency and not urgency, but, you know, willingness to be precise and take all the things into account. Also, back testing, in my opinion, ruins the psychology because, like I said, you're going through a couple hours of price action very quickly. Peer learning is one of my favorite ways to learn. Engage with a community of traders, share insight, get feedback, and learn from other traders' experiences. That is the, one of the main reasons I went ahead and started my community is because I actually wanted one that wasn't honestly trash. And I've been blessed for so many people that are like-minded and you know wanting to improve to be able to enjoy and have such a great community to where the chat isn't just filled with dumb crap and right it's everybody who you know it actually feels like a really solid community and everybody is you know on the same goal and on the same path right with just a different journey that's why you know like i said i i, I really really love peer learning also your in real life improvement is super super 
key to leveling up pretty much on every part of your, you know, trading, like even, you know, obviously in your real life and, you know, just, you know, obviously it's about trading, but that's it, it's going to be a key part into leveling up. Setting that routine for your daily life and your chart life is going to be, you know, it, it should be your life. If this is what, what you're wanting to do, you should put your all into it and understand what's at stake, what you can do, really, and, you know, and just really how high the, the, the ceiling is. Incorporate, you know, exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep. Do all of these things in your daily routine to maintain physical and mental health. You want to always be reading, taking courses, stay updated with market trends, economic news, and just stay very knowledgeable, right, to your, um, uh, I can't, I'm brain farting on the ideas, or, or on the words tonight, sorry, it's, it's like midnight when I'm recording this, but, you know, be very knowledgeable in, you know, what you do, right, in, in all around, and where, you know, the work you're doing, and, you know, what's going on in that, you know, field of work. Lead a balanced life. Ensure to balance trading with other aspects to avoid burnout. There's burnout and there's getting to it. You guys can get to it 10 hours a day and not get burnt out. And, you know, it's like college. Really, really do this shit like it's college. There should be no other way but this way if this is what you're wanting to do. Even if it's day one or, you know, day 10, day 20, day 30, right? I understand if you can't put your whole life towards it, you know, you have to work and stuff like that's that's life, right? But put as much time as you can with the time that you have. With your routine and notes, you always want to use structured notes. You don't want to, you know, play around with your notes and use your notes like, you know, there's some some game or something like that. You want to use your notes structured, categorize them. Use all different aspects such as your strategy, emotional states, market conditions, and you know your obvious outcome. If you don't have all of these things in your notes, how do you, you know, even expect to improve at all if you're not, you know, actually looking back on the things that you felt and the things that matter during, you know, your actual trading conditions. Visualize, excuse me, utilize screenshots and annotations on your chart to visually capture key moments and setups in price and when you like to you know obviously align price and you know time is what we like to do so put your time on there for the chart and what you know what time it is what you know what session you're trading and obviously when you go into your notes put what you were thinking you know as all the you know things we've talked about before schedule regular review sessions for your notes adapt your strategies based on what you learn from these reviews and always keep adapting. There's no room not to get better, especially in a you know a field of trading. That's what you want to keep doing. It's getting better each day, day in, day out. Even if you're trading Asia, trading London, or just trading one session, right? Like I've you know stressed many times, trade your one session one time a day. But you know if you're trying to get better at reading order flow, I understand tape reading and even paper trading other time periods and you know understanding why price does what at what certain time periods and even being in that time you know on a lower time frame such as the 5 and 15 minute trying to capture entries and understand where we could draw to right with our liquidity pools in those certain time sessions and time based candles I really hope you guys enjoyed this week of short videos this is going to be the end of that and we're going to be rolling into next week um, honestly, I didn't think I had more notes down here, um, but we'll go ahead and go over them. Yeah, that's the bottom. Sorry about that. But, oh, yeah, this was like, okay, I know what this was, right? Day in, day out, you have to realize you can't trade your profits and losses. The best thing my mentor ever taught me was to trade the chart, not your P&L. If you trade the chart, the chart wins, not your profits and losses. You follow your rules, improve over time with chart experience. You gain the confidence to hold trades longer and not worry about pulling stuff and profits because you're scared of losing it. You know where price is going to go, and you hold till you you know price goes where you know it's going to go. And if it doesn't hit by a certain time, right, then it's perfectly you know fine within our rules to close the trade. De-risking is never bad. 
Um, excuse me, it's never a bad idea, especially if it affects you. In my case, I just full ported until bigger numbers started stopped affecting me. Obviously, bigger, bigger numbers affect me, but I have my area where I'm comfortable losing, comfortable winning. Um, and you know, obviously, you shouldn't have a area where you're, you know, comfortable winning. It should be the ceiling, but you know, there there's no buts. Um, right? If I'm, you know, I'm good at following my rules. I, you know, don't risk a lot. But there are times where I have more conviction on trades and I do, you know, you know, I, I risk more. Obviously, I'm going to do that if I have more conviction and I'm super confident in the trade. That's how my narrative works. That's how I like to work as a trader. Certain days bring better sets, setups. So that's when I'm going to risk more. If I don't like what I'm seeing on a Monday or Tuesday and we come into a classic Wednesday, why would I not, right, you know, use that Wednesday to capitalize when I know confidently where price will go losses will always be a part of the game if you l are well <laughs> i don't know why i wrote it like that that's corny right obviously you know you can mitigate as many losses as you can but they you know will be a part of the game for a long time super precise you know become super precise over months and months of grind and there is no other option Accept the grime and become the best you can be by putting in more work than everyone else. Take good notes and go over them each day. Don't skip bad days just because it sucks looking at it. Those are the days where you really do get better. Those are the days you test yourself. Those are the days where you find most value and where you really should lock in and you know understand that you can do it. And you know just by a simple you know couple change of your rules and couple change of your mindset. Right, there could be a really big difference in your trading. If you're about to get knocked out, or excuse me, nothing gains confidence like getting beat up and hitting the knockout blow. If you're about to get knocked out and you're panicking, it's already over. Boxers stay calm and wait for the right time to strike. And you know, that's what you should do as a trader. If you get knocked down one day, come back better and come back ready to, you know, deliver a knockout blow. Take each day seriously. Put your all into it and make it your life. It's your only option and make it the best, or excuse me, it's your only option and it's my best option in the world. There's no, there, there's nothing better, right? Taxes can get better depending on where you live, but improve your chart, improve your health, improve your mind, and when everything will fall into place. The only way you fail is when you give up. And that's a great way to end this one. I hope you guys get 1% better each day and enjoy this one. You guys have a great one.